So here is the V pin. Uh, it is currently got a uh, pre finish uh, plywood on it, so if you wanted to put uh, vinyl on it, it'll stick right on there. I left it blank because I didn't, could never make up my mind wanted to do. Uh, but right now, here is the uh, table. This is a wide body, so it's 25 inches uh, side to side, and it's got the lockdown bar, and also has the uh, tracks for the glass that I haven't put in yet. Uh, also has the sides, or all the side pieces there too. Uh, this one just happens to be uh, Tales of Arabian Nights, which is my favorite of all time. We've got four buttons. Start, add coin, second buy-in. Sometimes a lot of games have second buy-in and then exit. So you know, put in a coin. Two speakers in the back, CNC those two in the back. The uh, plunger works as well, so should the nudge. Nudge works as well. Um, right now, I don't have a switch for the volume. I've got it uh, set on the bottom here where. There's a USB plug-in, and then there's a start button which needs to be hooked up. So a lot of this is, uh, you know, things that I'm eventually going to want to get to. But everything does work. Oh, missed it. Oh, yeah, so this particular table has the LUTs lighting that you can use for your second buttons. So uh, this particular machine has... 100, uh, 102 of my, probably the best ones, I think, Walking Dead. A lot of the VPW uh, games are on here as well, and if you need help, I'm more than happy to walk you through how to do this stuff, but uh, found the best ones. And then uh, to start, we just hit the start button. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Game will start up. Some, some of them have a pup pack, some don't. That's all a matter of kind of which one I liked at that time. You can see it's right next to a, an actual pinball machine. So, same deal. Put in a coin. This one has the button, so we've got a, a button to launch it. Hard to do with one hand. So, to get out of it, we hit uh, Exit, Ninja Turtles, Taxi, Tales from the Crypt, both Stranger Things editions, three Star Wars, Star Trek, the other Star Trek, Spider-Man, which is one of my favorites, by the way, South Park Slayer, Simpsons Party, etc., etc. So, 100 tables, only the really the good ones. Uh, I mean, the, the ones that you find with like five or 6,000 tables, really, you're only going to use couple of them anyway so uh, here is next to the real pinball machine and we've got a uh, coin door uh, again project so you know take it for what it's worth uh, the wiring could be better but I'll, uh, I'll give you a tour here in a second uh, I'll pull the, the glass but this is this is a 4k screen you've got a 15 inch uh, LCD and then another uh, TCL I think it's a 180 180p 32 inch uh, back glass and the way this is put in there probably could be moved back if you wanted to but it's just held in with magnets and that's the back of it this is held down uh, with basically just two bolts right there and there are two hinges so this the the whole the whole top will hinge down it is uh, ready for kind of those side pieces. I was also thinking about just putting regular like a cabinet uh, uh, sheathing on it too. That that would work just fine. But uh, pinball legs, pinball dimensions, both uh, magnetate buttons, and uh, a couple extra parts here. So base shaker, some glasses. Uh, this is the temperature uh, switch with a bunch of fans I haven't put in yet. And, uh, and an addressable, I think this is the G Wiz. So if you want to do addressable lights, uh, this card came with it. Again, I just kind of, one of those things where I just kind of
kind of never got to. Uh, but all the all the side parts that go with it, so like the uh, the metal parts. These are all uh, from Virtual Pin. Uh, I got the the kit. So in case you were wondering, the kit runs I don't know seven eight hundred bucks. You know probably three hundred dollars in plywood. You know uh, between seven hundred and a thousand dollars worth of TVs, and then the computer and uh, uh, surround sound, etc. So this is a good project. If you want something that just works right out of the box, um, if you want to get some glass, uh, you can slide it in there. Uh, everything should should work as is. But let me pull this out, and I'll show you what's underneath. All right, so here we are. Wiring's a bit uh, is again project uh, should help you get started anyway. Uh, base. This is uh, from the base for the uh, two main speakers back there. You've got. Uh, for your uh, surround sound feedback, which you've got here with a uh, ground block, and then uh, there's one here, and then there's two up there, so you can add uh, DOF if you want. Uh, this is the uh, potentiometer, and you've got real pinball parts here with the leaf switches on uh, fore and aft, uh, with the nudge uh, feature that the uh, KZ25, I believe. Uh, there's the PC back there, and then the surround sound uh, external piece. Uh, a couple things there. I did wire uh, in the very back there for full power, um, and there's also let's see here. Just kind of slide her down a bit. So the two fans would go there. The original plan was uh, the space between the top of the TV and the back of the machine was going to be either the topper or it was going to be uh, an addressable LED kind of you know kind of whatever you want to do but usually I run this with kind of low lights anyway uh, but here is the PC the with the specs two hard drives solid state uh, runs everything 4k just fine so uh, again yeah it's kind of a kind of a fun project put whatever art you want on it if you want art um, I know that Virtuos Pin sells it for, I think it was like 150 bucks, I think, for a, for the for the full kit. But uh, you know, real real coin parts, real uh, uh, virtual um, virtual uh, <laughs> virtual real uh, pinball parts. So lock bar installed, uh, 4K, the the whole bit, everything everything works just fine. So anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, good luck.